Hello everyone, this is Randy Nunez, your host on the Between the Chalk Lines podcast. Every week, all baseball talk, all the time. Let's go. A quick, a very quick weekly wrap up for this week. Uh, Not a lot happened. There's a lot of speculation, a lot of talking, a lot of rumors. It's just how the offseason goes, especially in November. Uh, Not a lot will pick up until December, the very earliest. So we're just going to start off with the big news. Scott Boris and Juan Soto were set to meet with the Blue Jays, New York Mets, New York Yankees, and the Boston Red Sox this week. I don't know which order. I believe the Blue Jays were the first. I know that the Blue Jays are looking to add a big star alongside uh, their own in Vladimir Guerrero Jr. uh, in the lineup. So will they spend, you know, $600 to $700 million? Who knows how many years will they, you know, where they'll draw the line? I don't know. Um, More rumors about trades. Rockies are reportedly open to trading second baseman Brandon Rogers and right-hand pitcher Justin Lawrence. The Rangers officially announced signing of right-hand and pitching uh, reliever Luis Curvello and added him to their 40-man roster, which now sits at 37 men. The uh, Angels signed a few people, actually. Um... Veteran catcher Travis Dernod. <laughs> Sorry if I butchered that name. Uh, it's a two year deal. And they also signed infielder Ken Newman from the Dunbacks to a one year deal with an option for a second year, forcing them to release pitcher Ryan Miller and then DFA first round pick in Matt Theis. Matt Theis, unfortunately, did not live up to being that first-round pick hype. He was supposed to be a catcher, then got transferred to being a first baseman, and third base, and then back to first base, and then back to catcher. Matt Theis' professional career was just a mess. Um, it, that's the best way I can say. And then they avoided... Uh, arbitration by agreeing to a $770,000 uh, salary, is the best way to put it, for Scott Kingery. They also signed earlier, this, or traded for earlier this season. And that is just $10,000 north of the major league minimum, just to let you know. Uh, so, so much. $770,000 is just under or, you know, a million dollars and just over the major league minimum. Uh, that will go up and up and up every year, the minimum. And then free agents, we have left-handed pitcher Rich Hill said he is open to pitching next season, which would be his age. 45 year. I believe that would make him the oldest pitcher in all of Major League Baseball currently. Um, Yeah, I'm pretty sure that he would be the oldest pitcher actively if he signs with the team. So we'll see what happens there. Doesn't mean that teams will go and flock to him just because he wants to pitch, but I could see a team like the Angels who I was just talking about Try to add him on a one-year deal, uh, you know, approve it. Major League Baseball announced that they will take over the Cincinnati Reds broadcast for 2025. This is a, a big thing, a big thing for consumers like myself and others who pay for MLB TV um, every year. All people who are in the Cincinnati area will not have to worry about blackouts at all next season. Since baseball is taking over their broadcasts, 
all games will stream every day that they have a game. So home, away, if you're nearby, if you're in the region that would normally be blacked out, you don't have to worry about it anymore. You can watch all the red games that you want. So uh, I think this is something setting a big precedent for the future. Do us fans want to allow Major League Baseball to take over all the broadcasts and, you know, get in return no blackouts ever? I I don't know myself, personally, if I would give up, you know, the broadcast team that the Angels have or the Dodgers have um, just to not have blackouts. That's something I would have to think about. Definitely. Um, baseball also announced in the Rays and the Yankees that the Rays will be playing at the George M. Steinbrenner Field, which is the Yankees' single-A affiliate field, uh, as their home field for 2025 because they announced uh, Florida, you know, the Rays announced that they could not fix the trop on the Tropicana Field until 2026. Uh, so they're going to forego that. And I don't know if they're just going to give up the one year this year for the Trop and hopefully have that fixed by 2026. And then a new stadium in 2028, which was announced. So we'll see. That's ongoing, you know, unfolding. Um, and obviously I'll tell you as it happens, a lot of awards got given out, uh, or I should say we're giving out to players, gold gloves, silver sluggers. Big things to me though, were the comeback player of the year, Chris Sale in National League, Garrett Grochet. Don't forget about that. 2021 year uh autograph get crochet number to five four out of five go to instagram make a you know a comment follow the profile like the picture say something you win i think i i think i have over a hundred comments on that picture already and this will be the biggest giveaway that i have going all year since I ever started this podcast. You know, I've given away Jack Jeter, rookie cards, um, you know, relic rookie you know, cards, uh, other rookie cards, um, Jackson Holiday signed cards. Uh, so if you want free stuff, just go to Between the Chalk Lines on Instagram. Follow it. Like it. I give stuff away all the time. Every month. Uh, next month, we'll, we'll have a special. It'll be the first. So, look out for that one in December. It'll be a nice Christmas spirit gift, hopefully, uh, for someone. And back to the news. The Red Sox have added left-handed uh, reliever Justin Wilson to a one-year deal on just over $2 million guaranteed with incentives based on how many appearances he has next season. He's had some problems with injuries in past seasons, so we'll see how that goes for him and the team. The Braves have shown interest in former Dodger uh, starting pitcher Walker Bueller. Um, he was not given a qualifying offer by the Dodgers, so he became a free agent. Therefore, if the Braves or any other team sign him, they do not have to give up a pick to the Dodgers. And um, speaking of the Dodgers, uh, their right-hand pitching uh, relief uh, guy in Bruce Dargredal, who had absolute heat, just pure heat, will miss the first half of 2025's uh, season after he just went um, and had shoulder surgery yesterday as of recording. Um, 
after all that news, like I said, not a ton. Um, yeah, I mean, not, not a lot left. There's nothing really else to speak of as far as major league deals. There were a few minor league deals and a few coaching staff things that happened as well as front office. So, uh, that's it for this week's weekly wrap up. Have a good week. And then next week, if you do celebrate it, have a fantastic, um, Thanksgiving. I will not be posting a video or podcast next week. So just, just let's let you know that next week is off. Peace.